Hello and welcome to today's video of Semiconductor Materials, where today we will be covering tunneling. We can describe tunneling to be if an electron comes upon a potential barrier greater than its energy, then there is a finite probability that it will pass through the barrier. Let's go ahead and further dissect what this means. We can visually look at what tunneling means in an infinite potential well, where we have our area 1 where our energy is infinity, and we have area 2, where our energy is equal to 0 since it is on the x-axis, and we have area 3, where its energy is also equal to infinity. An example of tunneling is if we were to say if we have an electron in area 2, and if we want to know the probability that it tunnels into either area 3 or into area 1. And so no matter where our electron lies, the probability will always be equal to 0. <clears throat> and that is because there is insufficient energy for it to break the potential barrier. Another way we can look at tunneling is using energy levels, where energy of electrons can be represented in eigenvalues, where we have one two, three, four eigenvalues. We can further describe these energy levels using wave functions. If we look at our wave function graph, which is represented by psi, we can look at the different energy levels. So starting off with energy level 1, we have one peak above the x-axis. Looking at energy level 2, we have two peaks where we have one above the x-axis, so it is positive, and one underneath the x-axis, so it is negative. In energy level 3, we have two peaks that are positive and one that is negative. And for energy level 4, we have two peaks that are positive and two that are negative. And we can take this graph a step further by squaring it. So if we take the absolute value of our wave function and square it, we can look at our energy levels now. We can look at energy level 1, where we have again one peak above the x-axis, so it is positive. For energy level 2, we have two peaks and they are now both positive above the x-axis. For energy level 3, we again have three peaks, all are positive above the x-axis and energy level 4, 4 peaks that are positive above the x-axis. And so the purpose of taking the second power of our wave function is that this graph helps us to find the probability of finding an electron. And so if we were given a question to find the highest probability of finding an electron, it would be at energy level 4 since it has the highest amounts of peaks, which is 4. This concludes our video on tunneling. Thank you for watching.